Hi everyone, welcome to the introductory video for sociology. Sociology is the study of individuals and society and how they impact each other. So sociologists believe we are not just free-floating individuals, but we are a part of society. We are affected by the groups that we are a part of, maybe our gender, our class, our ethnicity, our age, our sexuality, all those social groups that we belong to affect our life chances. One of the most helpful ways to think about what sociology is, is to probably think about the kinds of questions that sociologists seek to answer. So things like, what makes you more successful in education? Is it the kind of culture you have back home? Is it how much money your parents have? Or is it your interactions with other students and teachers in your school, the kind of school that you go to? What impact do government policies have on the kinds of families we have in the UK? What are the consequences of an ageing population? And we also look at social change. So things like how has childhood changed over time and how is it different in other countries? And we also look at things like um, really personal decisions, like whether to get divorced or not, how that can be affected by um, wider factors in society, things like the economy or beliefs like secularisation. We look at the role of institutions like schools and education. Do they help you to become critical and creative thinkers? Or do they just make it easier for you to be exploited in the future by your employer? Why do people commit crime and is the criminal justice system fair? Key questions that have come up this summer with the Black Lives Matter protests. What makes some groups of people more religious than others? And is science a belief system? What about political ideologies? Can we put them in the same category as religion? So sociology is a fascinating subject and it deals with the real world. It gives you transferable skills, so it helps you to evaluate and analyze arguments, to weigh up evidence and to develop critical thinking. This is a respected subject and it's been around since the early 1800s, but it's contemporary, it deals with today's society. It's useful for many careers that involve knowledge of social policies or working with other people. So, for example, journalism, marketing, health, business, education, local and national government, charities, NGOs and social services. Here are some of the subjects that sociology is related to. Some of these are related to culture, so subjects like English, history and the media. And others are related subjects within the social sciences. So psychology and criminology, and then the law as well. Here are the topics that we study. So in year 12, we look at families and households, education, and then research methods that's helped us decide how we're going to study these areas. And year 13, we look at the juicy topic of crime and deviance, and then beliefs in society. And finally, theories and methodologies. So how do we explain society and what are the best ways of studying it? I have to emphasise that there's no coursework in this A-level. It's just based on exams. And most of the exam is taken up with essay-based questions rather than short questions. So you need to be good at developing arguments and using evidence, not just memorising facts. So what do you need? The grade requirements are English level 5 and Maths level 5 too. That's because this is an essay writing subject, your language skills are important, but we also handle things like statistics, which is where the maths comes in. You need to be socially aware, so you need to be thinking about some of the contemporary social, political and economic issues that are coming up. I recommend that if you are thinking about doing this subject, you, you watch Question Time on BBC iPlayer or listen to the Any Questions podcast. This will help you keep up with UK and world news. You need to have an ability to deal with abstract theoretical issues and apply it to real life. And it's brilliant if you have opinions. This is a discursive subject. We like to debate. Yes, it's informed by evidence and other explanations and theories, but what is your opinion? It'd be great if you feel confident to share that in lessons. And another important aspect to this is that you need to have an attitude which is respectful of other people's opinions, even when they are different to your own. You need to be able to disagree respectfully. So if you want to know more about sociology, contact Mrs. 